Want to pass your NCLEX? Then let's get started. You are the charge nurse on a busy med surge unit. The following patients need attention. Which patient should you see first? A post-operative patient with a blood pressure of 90 over 60? A patient with diabetes whose blood glucose level is 300? A patient with chest pain and shortness of breath? A patient who requires discharge teaching on self-administration of insulin. The correct answer is C. A patient with chest pain and shortness of breath may be experiencing a cardiac event. An immediate intervention is crucial. This patient takes priority over others, as chest pain could be indicative of a life-threatening condition. You are the triage nurse in the emergency department. Four patients arrive simultaneously. Which patient should be assessed first? A child with a fever and rash, an adult with severe abdominal pain, an elderly patient with confusion, a teenager with a sprained ankle. The correct answer is B. Severe abdominal pain can be a sign of a life-threatening condition, such as appendicitis or a bowel obstruction. Assessing and addressing this patient's condition take priority over other less urgent cases. You are working in a long-term care facility. Which resident should be attended to first? A resident who reports mild dizziness, a resident who is not eating well, a resident with a change in the level of consciousness, a resident with a new skin rash. The correct answer is C. A change in a level of consciousness may indicate a serious medical condition, such as a stroke or neurological problem. Immediate assessment and intervention are required to determine the cause and initiate appropriate care. You are a home health nurse visiting multiple clients. Which client should you prioritize for a visit today? A client with a scheduled blood pressure check? A client who needs wound dressing changes? A client with uncontrolled diabetes? A client recently discharged with a new medication regimen. The correct answer is C. A client with uncontrolled diabetes requires immediate attention to prevent complications. Addressing diabetes management takes precedence over routine blood pressure checks, wound dressings, or medication education for stable patients. You are the nurse in the pediatric unit. Four pediatric patients require care. Which patient should be seen first? a toddler with diarrhea and vomiting, a school-aged child with a headache, an infant with a fever of 103, a teenager with a sprained wrist. The correct answer is C. An infant with a high fever is at risk for serious infections. Infants are more vulnerable to the effects of fever and prompt assessment and intervention are necessary to identify the cause and initiate appropriate treatment. You are a nurse working in the PACU, Four postoperative patients require attention. Which patient should be assessed first? A patient with a blood pressure of 160 over 90, a patient complaining of severe incisional pain, a patient with a heart rate of 110 beats per minute, a patient exhibiting confusion and restlessness. The correct answer is D. Confusion and restlessness in the postoperative period may indicate hypoxia, inadequate pain control, or other complications. Immediate assessment and intervention are needed to identify and address the cause. You are a nurse on a med surge unit. Four patient needs attention. Which patient should you see first? A patient requesting pain medication after knee surgery? A patient with a history of DVT complaining of leg pain? A patient with newly diagnosed diabetes needing insulin education. A patient reporting difficulty breathing with a respiratory rate of 28. The correct answer is D. A patient with difficulty breathing and an elevated respiratory rate may be experiencing respiratory distress. Immediate assessment is crucial to determine the cause and initiate appropriate interventions to ensure adequate oxygenation. You are a charge nurse on a busy med surge unit. Several tasks need to be delegated. Which task should be assigned first? Administering morning medications, assisting with a bed bath for an incontinent patient, documenting vital signs on the EMR, initiating a discharge plan for a stable patient. The correct answer is A. 
Administering medications is a time-sensitive task, and patients depend on receiving their medications at the scheduled times. This task takes precedence over other non-urgent activities. You are the nurse in the ER. Four patients need attention. Which patient should be seen first? A patient with a minor laceration on the hand? A patient with a possible fracture of the arm? A patient complaining of severe chest pain? A patient with a headache and nausea? The correct answer is A. Severe chest pain is an emergency situation that requires immediate assessment. This symptom may be indicative of a MI or other serious cardiac event, and timely intervention is crucial. You are a nurse working in the labor and delivery unit. Three laboring patients require attention. Which patient should you assess first? A prima gravida in early labor? A multiparous woman with a fetal heart rate deceleration, a woman requesting an epidural for pain relief. The correct answer is B. Fetal heart rate decelerations can be a sign of fetal distress and require immediate assessment. Prompt intervention is needed to determine the cause and ensure the well-being of both the mother and the baby. Click that subscribe button and comment below and let us know one new thing you learned today. Join us next Wednesday for NCLEX Wednesday.